because Tulum has such a wide variety of food on offer, both authentic Mexican as well as a really diverse array of international cuisine, we thought it really deserved its own special food video. There's definitely really affordable places to eat in Tulum Centro, and then if you have a bigger budget, you can go down to the beach and splash out. So, in this video, we are going to show you some of the places that we missed out last time we were in Tulum, and then also at the end, we're going to share our top five places to eat in Tulum, <laughs> according to Mike and Steph. And then also some honorable mentions at the end. Let's go! It's time for the number one recommended restaurant on every single list that will ever exist about Tulum, Taqueria Honorio. Uh, where you go in the morning for tacos for breakfast. We're going to try it now. Let's hope it lives up to the hype. One thing we've absolutely loved throughout Mexico has been the yugo de naranja. Having fresh orange juice every single day has been really, really nice. Well, it's, it's not just fresh orange, it's fresh orange juice. It's freshly squeezed orange juice, like right then and there wherever we go, it's amazing. So we've decided to go for a taster menu first to see which one we like the most and then maybe order more. So we've got the classic cochinita pibil, lechon, which is a roasted sucking pig. We've got pollo and milanese, breaded chicken, and then rayon negro. Reneo. Relleno negro. Relleno negro. Relleno negro. Relleno negro. Relleno. Relleno negro. Which is turkey. It's brilliant. Mainly because the tortillas aren't like super corn tortillas. <laughs> So we liked it so much that we got what? We decided to try a torta, which is basically just a sandwich. Um, and the cochinita pibil was the best of all four options. It's amazing, so juicy and delicious. Final verdict on Taqueria on a Rio. Absolutely does live up to the hype. Delicious, especially the cochinita pibil. Everything we had, four tacos and a sandwich and drinks, was 150 pesos, which is about five pounds. So really cheap as well. Highly recommend. Every single article or video we've watched about Tulum uh, all recommend going to Bonita's Burgers, and apparently it's the best burger you'll ever have in your life. So we're going to see if the hype is real. burger itself did not because it was slightly like slightly overdone wasn't enough sauce wasn't enough you know pizzazz um, and the chips were like you know basic but the onion rings were delicious so highly recommend coming here just for the onion rings so there you go perfectly good, good burgers just not the best in the world so yeah on to the next eatery Time for ice cream at a Pana e Chocolato. Vanilla, coconut, 
chocolate. Chocolate. So we're starting our street food tour here right by the kind of central plaza of Tulum and there's just loads of street food vendors lining the streets all along here. So we're just gonna go along and see what we find. with barbacoa, so I think it's barbecued pork, I believe. Very nice, lots of um, pasta, no, coriander, and a nice sauce. On to the next one. So here we've gone for Asado de res, so we think that's beef grilled. It looks like chicken, we're very confused, but we've ordered something. Yeah, it smells really good. It's really nice because all the locals treat the dogs really nicely and give them little, little treats, which is very cute. On to the fourth option now. So, um, we think our, our final savoury option of the night. We um, got a, a torta because we saw at another stand and we were like that looks incredible bread just filled with loads of fun things. So we got one that you know has some pineapple in it, onion, very exciting a little bag of sauce. I should put some lime on it. <laughs> Big bite. I mean it's basically like a, a Mexican late night kebab sandwich <laughs> um, which is great and we're drawing a lovely little game of basketball going on in the background <laughs> Street lined with dessert vendors. Marquezitas, as far as the eye can see. So, let's see what we find. Cool. I think it's called a machinados. Um, we asked them what it was. It's basically just like a handmade milkshake with like he likes as you saw in the video he like scrapes the ice and puts it in and mixes it up. So I went for banana and Oreo. And it smells amazing and looks delicious. So yeah, I'm very excited about this. little insight into the amazing street food here. It all costs less than 300 pesos, maybe even 200 pesos. It's basically less than about six or seven pounds in British money, which is amazing. And that's exactly why street food is so, so good. Tomorrow, we're gonna try some different food, different restaurants that we've been recommended, um, but we might definitely be coming back for some more street food here.
Okami, we've decided to splash out and go to this uh, Mexican-Japanese sushi restaurant by Tulum Beach. Very exciting. We've ordered the omakase. So it's basically like a huge platter apparently with just everything that they offer on the menu. Whatever the chef decides to do on the day, he's gonna put it in there. Very exciting. We've got some Mexican sake, so it's great. And there's a fire in the background. <laughs> I don't know if that's meant to be there. One interesting thing about coming here is that I think that a lot of people actually mistake me for being Mexican, even though I'm half Malaysian, half English. Um, I reckon with my new kind of samurai haircut, I look half Mexican, half Japanese, so this place is perfect for me. Bye. <laughs> wow. Fantastic start. Some kind of spicy Mexican habanero edamame beans. Amazing. Goodness. Here we go. <laughs> How do we finish that? <laughs> Easily. <laughs> that was delicious. Omakase at Ukami. Highly recommend. And to come here and get that platter because I think otherwise you wouldn't be able to taste some of the lovely things. I would never order tempura oyster, I think normally. 10 out of 10 <laughs> would recommend. Show the Kinder Bueno. Cheers. meal at kitchen table so it's this real on the jungle side of the Tulum beach and everything is really freshly made you can see everything being cooked the kitchen is all open incredible the cocktail menu is delicious I had a hibiscus sour which is amazing and also some kind of guava infused gin drink delightful there's also some taranda old-fashioned I mean it's just incredible and we had uh, catch the day sea bass and also a pork belly and it was just amazing. So yeah, we're gonna cycle back to Tulum Centro and maybe stop off for some ice cream on the way.